That is a turkey that roosted all night on the power wires over West Shore Drive in Marblehead. He's now signaling He's singling to the other people in his troop. I've seen, uh, actually turkeys. I, I've seen two others in his troop. I don't know where they're roosting. But I understand birds chirp in the morning to let other, other birds know that they're still alive. This guy is definitely alive. He's not electrocuted. What the hell is going on? Just doesn't seem like a comfortable night's sleep up there, but that's where he is, and he's getting ready to come down, so that's... a cup of coffee and uh, I'll be ready to go this morning. Maybe shower, shave. Bud, come on down. Come on down. Well, maybe he's not coming down because I'm here, so I'm gonna I'm gonna move inside and try to still get get a, a film of that. Okay, so I'm standing inside the world headquarters of Nanopashma Project Management, waiting for this dramatic flight of the turkey in the morning. It's December 13, 2016. Come on, buddy. I actually noticed him just after he got up on that wire last night at dusk. And, uh, and he seemed very precarious up there. And now uh, in the morning, it's, it's about, uh, I don't know, between 6 and 6.30 at dawn. He, um, he spent all night there, right over the traffic. Fairly busy street here on North Shore Drive.
I did hear some other turkeys respond to his call. So I just heard, I just heard recently that birds chirp in the morning because they have weak hearts. Many, many times birds don't survive through the night because of their weak hearts and so they chirp in the morning to tell the other birds that they're still alive. What, oh, I heard that from the safari guy down in uh, Nathaniel's Wedding. The safari guide, uh, who was very informative on all things nature-wise. Um, there were a lot of birds on that safari down in uh, uh, Sport, I think it was South Africa. Now, now this bird is just showing off. I mean, come on, bud. Come on, bud. It can't be cool up there. You gotta, you gotta fly down. You gotta fly down. Oh, he just uh, he, he just did his morning duty. I don't know if you caught that. That's what he's been waiting for. It always feels good to accomplish that in the morning. Come on, guy. It was, uh, it was a, it was a cool night. It was in the 30s. I think it right now in Marlowe it's like uh, 29 degrees uh, right here. And um, just interesting that a, a wild heavy bird like that would um, would take that place to roost. He's taking his time. He's, he's, he's definitely wide awake. He's taking his time. He's... Well, I'm sitting, standing here in my gym shorts, and like I said, it is 29 freaking degrees, so 
this uh oh where we're going now. No, no. I really kinda wish that my boy would uh jump off. I say boy, I have no idea if it's a male or a female. It's probably a female. Although I I don't know how to tell. Yeah, I'd say that well, it's about 25,000 people fairly thickly settled. Um, mostly single family style homes. But there's a decent amount of, uh, you know, uh, forage and open space and stuff like that. And so you, you, it's not uncommon to see these uh, birds in your backyard, uh, sometimes in in, um, in large quantities. I think this guy uh, belongs to a flock of like three. Because that's where I've seen him. There was one roosted in the big tree, um, the big ash tree behind my house. It made a huge amount of uh, noise um, as it as it roosted up there because the branches are cluttering together. This, these branches aren't cluttering. I think that bird is close by because I did hear somebody um, respond to this bird. I'm going to go out and see if I can antagonize this guy just a little bit. If I thought he was a Democrat, I'd really in fact, here he goes, here he goes, here he goes, here he goes, I'm totally, isn't that cool? See, I mentioned Democrat and it's flying away. Alright, bird, turkey on the roof, I'm not going to get that worked up about that, and he's going down the other side, so. Nice. 